research formats of most higher education institutions place research problems ahead of the theoretical framework. This gives researchers a headache on looking for appropriate theories to their topic. But should the research problem really be ahead of the theory? My lecture today is developing a research topic with a readily available theory. What is a theory? A theory is a set or group of ideas or concepts or constructs or definitions or propositions or principles or statements that organizes or describes or explains or predicts observations or occurrences or phenomena or existence of truth of something and relationships among variables. The purpose of a theory is to guide the researcher to systematically, orderly, and understandably organize data related to the phenomenon being researched. One sure type of research is that which is supposed to test a theory. With such purpose and with the theory testing research, which will come ahead, the theoretical framework or the conceptual framework, the theory or the problem. You can actually develop a research topic where the theoretical framework is made ahead of the research problem by following these simple steps. Let us now provide an illustration of these steps. First is to select a theory. Let us consider Likert's participative decision-making theory. This theory states that supervisors with strong worker productivity tended to focus on the human aspects of subordinate problems while creating teams that emphasize high achievement. This brief narrative of the theory is the basis for us to identify the independent and the dependent variables. So assuming that productivity is the dependent variable, this is now our theoretical diagram. On the basis of such theoretical diagram and identified independent and dependent variables of the theory, we can now come up with our conceptual diagram. So the conceptual diagram indicates the specific variables which are based on the theory's variables. Our title will now be the relationship between the types of problems workers raise and the existence of teams that emphasize high productivity in processing plants in region five and work productivity. We now rewrite the statements under the following sequence. Title, general problem, is specific problems, theoretical diagram, conceptual diagram. The general problem will be based on the title or the topics that we have formulated. The specific problems will simply be the independent and dependent variables but that we have identified in our conceptual framework. Number one is what types of problems the workers in processing plants in Region 5 raise. Number two, do teams that emphasize high productivity exist in such plants? 
Number three, what is the productivity of workers in such plants? And number four, is there a relationship between the types of problems workers raise and the existence of teams that emphasize high productivity in processing plants and region five and work productivity? This is now once again our theoretical diagram and our conceptual diagram. Assuming that this is an ex post facto study and not an experiment, the independent and dependent variables may be interchanged. So there you have a research topic or the basic parts of a proposal that has a readily available jury. Thank you.